Welcome everybody and thank you for joining us. Just before we begin, we want to take a few moments to make sure that everybody has a safe experience. First, we acknowledge that everyone has different abilities and comfort levels. So please feel free to adapt movements so that this class works for you. This class is an all levels class, which means that our instructor is going to provide you with some options that we, as we go. If at any time you feel like you need a break, go ahead and take some time off. If this is your first time doing an online class or a yoga class, please take it easy to start and remember to consider any injuries or pre-existing conditions that you may have. And please make, take a moment to make sure you have a safe setup. You probably need about two meters squared to do this class and it would be good for you to have a yoga mat and maybe a block or a book if you have something like that available to you. Make sure to consider any other people or furry friends that, that may come into your space during this class. And finally, remember that there are inherent risks involved in any type of physical activity. Remember to work at an intensity appropriate for your fitness level. And when you joined, you will have heard that we're recording this meeting, but we're just recording the instructor's screen. So you don't need to worry about that. As we go, remember you can chat uh, with me in the chat function and I'll provide some feedback to the instructor. And everybody have a great class today. Thank you, Chris. Thank you so much. And welcome everybody. Namaste. Uh, so great that you can join me today. Uh, feel free to go, go around your house and grab a strap if you have, or um, uh, you can use a scarf if you don't have a strap, or a belt, or a, a towel, a small towel, anything that you can to help you, assist you for the class today. If you have a cushion, uh, also take a, a cushion to sit or a pillow. Uh, so we're gonna start today on our side. So I'd like you to come over to your side and you're gonna place your cushion or your pillow underneath your head and your palms are gonna be together like this. And your knees are gonna be bent and together in front of, of you. So the knees are 90 degree bent. We're gonna just start here by noticing the breath. If you feel like you can close your eyes. And keeping your palms together and just settle into this posture for a second take one more deep breath in here and exhaling it out and this time with we'll the next inhale i'd like you to take the right hand all all the way over your head and ears and twist your body until your right shoulder comes to the floor and then as you inhale you come back all the way down to your center and palms come back to together. Okay, so as we inhale, you're reaching your arms up and over until your shoulder touches the floor. And then as you exhale, gently rolling back again to your initial position. Last one, inhale, taking the arms up and twisting the body, maybe pausing this time, taking a breath in and out here, relax with the shoulders. If you like, you can take the left hand on top of your right knee. And just take a moment to lengthen the spine and breathe. And then come back to your center. Inhale, returning back to the initial position. Nice work. And from here, we're going to go ahead and bend your knees and have your knees straight. And this time, remove the pillow to your side. We don't need the pillow right now underneath the head. We're going to start by having the heels underneath the knees. Okay, and your spine straight into the ground. So make any little adjustments you need. With the next inhale, allow your pelvis to rock forward, arching the low back. And as you exhale, curl the pelvis, pressing the tailbone and the spine down towards the earth. Inhale again, arching the back, allow your pelvis to curve. So I'm allowing space underneath my low back. And as I'm exhale, I'm pulling the pubic bone to the to flatten the lower back into the ground. And again, inhale forward and exhaling back. Empty yourself all the way down. Two more, inhale forward, exhaling back. Nice. And go ahead and fold your knees into your chest. And with the next inhale, lift your head up and just take your head towards your knees and stretch your back here. So while you can move side to side, massaging your spine to the ground. And then as we inhale, relaxing your head down again, and we're going to lift the legs up, starting with a happy baby pose. 
So you can grab your ankles or the outside of the soles of your foot. And as you come here, just relax the shoulders down and just move side to side a little bit. And if you like, you can close your eyes and come into a deep breath to really get into the body and release the hips, the spine, taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good work. Now we're gonna extend one leg as you bend one knee. So as you inhale, you extend the left leg, bending the right heel, and then switch, extend the right leg, and bending the left heel. Good, just stretching it out. Nice, and then come back to your center, and take the legs up, and you're gonna take your hands inside your legs, or inside your ankles, and they're gonna gently open up. So if you can't reach for your toes, you can also take your hands underneath and just support your legs. Just open your legs wide, feel the stretch, take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Good, and then inhale, come back to your center one more time, and then exhale, bend your knees again. Let's go over to the other side. So I'm gonna come up and turn over to the other side, but you can just turn over, if you like, turn your back to me, that's okay. So here, your forehead into a pillow, if possible. Forehead, no, your head. And then take your palms together, knees bent in front of you. With the next inhale, allow your arms to go up and twist your spine towards the left, opening the left shoulder to the ground. And inhale to return back to your center. Good. And continue moving with your breath. And slower you go, better it is. So you can allow some time for your spine to mobilize slowly and move into the areas that we feel a little bit tight. Maybe pause on the last one, adjust your pillow on your head if you need it, and just relax here. If you like, you can take your right hand on top of your left knee and just breathe for three, two, and one, and then inhale, come all the way back to your center. Palms again in, good. So from here, gonna go around and rotate into your back one more time, remove the pillow, and this time we're coming up into a bridge. So I'd like you to press the four corners of your foot down and make sure your feet are parallel and that your heels are underneath your knees, okay? So your foot is straight parallel. And then from here, press your head, look straight up to the ceiling. And with the next inhale, begin to curl the pelvis, tucking the pelvis in as you begin to lift each vertebra off the ground. Once you come up, press your head, shoulders, and four corners of your feet down. And taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out here. Hugging the inner thighs, lifting through the seat bones. One more deep breath as you inhale. And deep in your exhale. Good. Let's roll down slowly. The back of your heart comes down first, and then the middle of your back and the low back to the ground. Then allow your pelvis to rock forward on the inhale, arching the back. So I got some space underneath here. And then exhale, curl the pelvis the other direction, and then lifting up again into your bridge, looking straight up to the ceiling. Keep your head straight. Shoulders down and inner and outer edges of your heels. And big toe mile pressing down four corners of your foot. One more deep breath in. Exhaling it out. And inhale. And exhale as you begin to lower each vertebra down towards the ground. Good job. We're gonna add a little bit more now. We're gonna lift one foot up and it's optional. Okay, with the next inhale, curl the pelvis back in again, lifting up. So if you need some help, you can always place your hands on your hips to make sure your hips are steady. And you can squeeze your hands, your hips with your hands. Okay, squeeze the inner thighs in. You can also have your fingertips pointing up, pressing the triceps down. And you can stay here if that's a lot for you, or we're gonna 
use the, the weight on the left leg to pick up your right leg after they scatter. And then from here, you're gonna reach the right heel and hold for four, three, two, one. Let's take the right leg down. Use the right foot to lift up the hips again. Hips are square, pull the navel in, and bring the left leg up this time. Extending the left leg. You can also keep it bent if this is a lot for you. And you can also keep the foot close to the ground. Just lift a little bit. Inhale for four, three, shaking is good, two, one. Bring it all the way down, lift your hips up, and then lower down each vertebrae. Notice how I lift my heels here to allow some more space for the low back. So that's an option too, if you have tight low back, to lift your heels up when you're descending. Okay, so from here, we're gonna take our TheraBand. If you don't have one, don't worry, you can always just use your hands behind your leg. Okay, but if you have a TheraBand or a strap or a scarf or a towel, you can lift up, just hold your towel or your scarf like this, lift up your right leg and place the elbows down. Okay, so my elbows are down, my hands are relaxed. And you can also just relax your hands straight like this. Okay, so you don't have to have your elbows down. It's optional. I prefer my elbows down to keep more stable for my spine because we are going to move the leg. So as we have, we're gonna bend the knee for a second, uh, bend your knee and flex your heels. And then exhale, extending the leg straight. And again, inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Last one, bend. Exhale, extend. Now keeping the left leg straight, let's take the leg across the body to the left so you can grab your straps with the left hand and reach the right arm to your side. If you don't have a strap, you just hold your leg, it's fine. We use your left hand on your leg. And I have the wall there, so I'm just gonna rest my foot into the wall. Inhale for three. I'm still feeling a stretch on the side of the hip, the legs, two. And push the left foot down. So like if you're standing on the left two, left foot, one. And then inhale coming all the way up. Let's take it over to the other side. So cross your hands, right hand grab the strap or the right hand grabs the outside of the leg and you're gonna reach it open to the side. And as you come to the side, keep the left leg straight. Inhale for three, feeling the stretch for the hip, the low back. Don't go into the low back too much. You wanna feel mostly on the leg, on the inner thighs, two, and one. And then inhale, come all the way up here, and then exhale, switch the legs. Left leg comes up, right leg goes down. Okay, you're gonna just start by bending the knees. So relax your hands, bend your knee, and then push the legs straight up. And bend the knee and push the legs straight up. So we're kind of allowing some lubrification through the knees. And if you have uh, your calves are tight or hamstrings, allow some time for the muscles to be engaged before we stretch. Okay, so the last one we're gonna hold and then extend the right leg straight. So imagine pushing for your right foot and hold your strap or with your right hand and bring the foot across your body to your right. The left leg comes to the right. And just hold here for a couple of breaths. Three, breathe. Try to lengthen your hip down when you're breathing. So I'm reaching my hip down with my breath. Two, one. And inhale, coming all the way up. Switch your hips. And let's open to the opposite side. So the left leg goes to the left. You can move yourself to allow some more space. Inhale for three, two, and one. And then come back to your center again. And then from here, let's just release the strap. And we're gonna lace the right ankle on top of the left thigh for thread the needle. I like to start by pushing my right knee away so my right hip opens up and we're externally rotating for the right hip. And then after a couple of breaths, you can interlace your hands inside your legs and around the left knee, 
to pull the left knee into your chest. And find three breaths in and out here, moving side to side, releasing any tension on your back. Inhale deeply, exhaling deeply. And also any tension through your glutes, your hips. And you can stay still, close your eyes if you like. And let's get into the body here. Just go really deep into your breath and follow the breath all the way up to the top of the inhale. And then pause and then exhale all the way down to the bottom of your pelvis. And two more breaths like that. Inhale all the way to the top. And all the way down to the bottom of the pelvis. Last breath in. <laughs> Great work. And at this time, you're finding your knee coming a little closer to you. So we're going to release the left leg. And we're going to take a happy baby pose on the right side. So that means your knee is going to come to your shoulder. So you can pull the knee down towards the shoulder, or you can grab the outside of the right foot, like I'm doing here, like using my both hands actually in the foot. You can also extend the left leg straight. Now, if you're super flexible, I know some ladies are super flexible, you can place your knee behind your shoulder like that. You kind of work yourself like that. Okay, so this is not very comfortable for me, so I'm gonna come back to the first position of holding the right ankle like this. And just allowing the stretch to open up and to happen. Naturally taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. So I feel the lengthen of your neck when your spine begins to elongate, your neck is longer. So you'll feel the head to your tail long in the body. And then from here, let's just release the leg all the way down and see if we feel the leg a little bit longer than the left. Usually we can feel one side longer. And then from here, let's go ahead and bend the left knee into your chest first, pull it in and then bend your right knee and then take the ankle to the left thigh. And then use your left hand to push the left knee out, okay? And just hold here for three, two, and you can stay here or you're gonna interlace your hands inside and around your right knee and pull the right knee to your chest for three or four breaths. And I want you to go deep into your breath, so really relaxing the mind, finding here emotional, physical health. So we're connecting to the breath, and mental health too, just noticing how the breath is moving the body and releasing any tension, any stress with each exhale out of your body, any fears, anything that holds you back from feeling well and feeling happy and free. Last breath in and out. You can also try extending the right leg a little bit to feel and bend and extend. Nice. And then from here, we're going to release uh, the left, right leg and pick up your left ankle. So happy baby pose on the left side again. You pull the left knee down towards the shoulders and maybe extending the right leg straight. Okay. So as you Work on your flexibility here. Just take a moment to not push too much. Just allow time for the stretch to begin to happen naturally in your body. So focus on your breath. And you're pulling a little bit, but you're not in pain or anything like that, right? Just naturally stretching here. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. If you feel like you're super open and you want to try to take the knee underneath the shoulder, feel free to lift your head up, walk that shoulder underneath, and then allow again. And sometimes just slowing down and taking a, a little bit of time to stretch, it will really benefit, benefit uh, you know, your vinyasa practice, your 
your power classes and, and whatever you do in your life there. It's just allowing time for the nervous system to settle a little deeper into a relaxed state as we, we come into our days. And then slowly releasing that leg all the way down. We're going to give a big stretch to the arms. So inhale, stretch your arms up and over your head to lengthen. Let your back stretch. Let your arms stretch. Just feel good. And then go ahead and walk both hands over to your right. So both hands and both feet to the right. I'm crossing my foot to the right. And I'm walking both hands to the right, creating kind of a half moon shape with my body. Okay, so kind of like an arc with my body towards the right side of the mat. And just breathe on the left side, adrenal. So this, this kind of postures require patience. And it's a great time to practice your meditation and your focus. So take a moment to really follow the breath on the inhale. And completely relax on the exhale. Let go of any thoughts, just becoming very present and very open for the sensations in the body. Let's go over to the other side. So go ahead and walk your hands over to the left and all the way to your left with your arms, creating a banana shape or a half moon shape onto the left. And you wanna breathe on the right side of your body. Okay, so elongating the right side, keeping your hips heavy for three breaths here. Relax your hands. I like to grab my wrist, but stay in place. Inhale for three. Two. And one. And this time, coming back to your center line. Let's fold the knees into your chest again. Just pull the knees in and take your legs up to the sky, arms up. You're gonna gently feel like you're walking, so it's not a big movement. Keep your tailbone and your head down and imagine you're walking on the ceiling. So by alternating the right hand and left leg down, the left hand and right leg down, alternating your hands and your arms. So think if you're just walking on the ceiling and keep your knees bent and stay out of your hip flexors. Use your lower belly muscles to do the movement. And we're just gonna do four, three, two, and one. And now stretch all the way, up. right leg and left arm over your head, so opposite, good. And then go over to the other side, all the way down. Stretch, good, and then come back up. Bring your hands behind your knees, and curl your spine. So looking towards the navel, send your hamstrings more forward and begin to roll up slowly. And once you come roll up slowly, lift your spine up for a second. Look straight forward, take a deep inhale. And then as you exhale, engage your lower belly muscles. In and out, come back to the back of your pelvis. So lift your foot up and stay lifted through your spine. So notice how I'm not curling the spine too much. I'm trying to stay tall and maybe take your hands off. Okay, keep your belly in. If you're intermediate, go ahead and extend your legs. Hold for five, four, three, breathe, two, and one. And inhale, bend. We're gonna come back into that posture, but relax your arms around and look towards the navel. Let your back, let your front body sink onto the back. Let your back body begin to open up to the spine. So I'm hollowing to a C shape to my spine here. One more deep breath in. Keep your foot off the ground and exhale. Gently coming back, lift your spine up. If you like, you can start here. Okay, it's just behind the seated bone, the weight, and then you lift your foot up. Okay, if you, if you got it, maybe take your hands out. And if you like, you can stay here or extend the legs. Hold for five, four, three, Two, one, good job. Let's, this time, let's take the feet together in front of you. And if you like, you can sit in a, a, a block or a cushion. I'm gonna sit on my cushion. And keep your legs in front of you and allow some space between your heels and your pelvis. 
So I'm not too close like this. I'm a little bit further forward with my foot. Okay, so there's a diamond shape inside my legs. And keep pressing your foot together. And lift your heart center up to the sky. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, reach your heart forward. Forward, forward, and down. And allow your head just to relax down. And take a moment to breathe. Relax the head. And we're only going to take three breaths here to allow some space for the back. And more you relax into the posture, deeper you'll be able to go. So try not to fight with the sensations, rather kind of come into a be friendly your sensations or welcoming the sensations just as they are. If there is any pain, you can back off a little bit or if it's feeling good, you can move side to side. Just allowing your back to stretch. One more deep breath in. Go a little deeper if you can. And then rolling up slowly when you're ready, coming all the way up to a seated position. Cross one leg in front of the other this time and come to seat tall. I'm using my hands behind me to lift my heart up, okay? So take your hands, lift your heart and your spine so I can feel my low back space still there. We're gonna take the right hand down and reach the left arm up and move over to your right side. So side bend in the spine. Notice here my collarbones are staying wide and my neck is staying long as my arm goes over. Okay, so from here, breathe on the right side and allow your heart to uh, move down and then all the way up as you breathe in. And again, move your heart down towards here and inhale to lift it up towards the sky. Last one, inhale, lift your heart down towards the ear. Exhale, lifting it all up. This time we're gonna reach the hands forward, all the way down again, keep your belly in, but this time you'll be able to go a little deeper since your legs are crossed one in front of the other. And then inhale to roll up slowly. Let's go over to the other side. So take your left hand down, reach your right palm up, and go over to your left side. You keep your collarbones wide, look straight forward in front of you. Okay, and then as we inhale, take your heart, face your heart down, and then reach your heart up towards the ceiling. And again, down, inhale, and exhale. And really feeling the movement begin to open up through your spine and your back. And then gently take your hands forward again, lower belly in as you bow. Inhale for three, two, and one. And then inhale, come all the way up again. This time, let's come forward into a cat and cow position. Okay, so uh, from here, take your hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Spread your fingers right apart. And as we inhale, take your heart center forward and up. Exhale, curl the pelvis, scoop your belly and press into your hands and your feet with energy like your cat. Inhale, take your chest forward and up, lengthening. Exhale, curl the pelvis, scoop the belly, press up. And again, take your pelvis back, reaching the heart forward and up. Notice the spine begin to open up now. Exhale, curling back. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. This time, keeping your belly drawing in and up towards the spine, extend the left leg back and then reach your right arm up towards the sky. So you're trying to not towards the sky forward. So left leg and right hand forward. Keep your hips stacked and reach the leg. Point your toes, try to get your legs straight and keep your shoulders back. Lift your heart center up a little higher. Take a deep inhale here, deep exhale. Go ahead and switch and stick the right leg back. Left arm forward. Inhale for three, two, one, and switch. Four, three, two, one, and switch. 
four, three, two, one. Let's go a little faster and just belly in as you switch side to side. Four, three, two, one. Good job. And bring your pelvis back and just rest into child's pose. Taking three breaths in and out, opening the back before we begin our undulations. So taking a deep inhale through your nose and a deep exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. Last breath in. Exhale. Now this time, I'm gonna press into the 10 toes and begin to curl my spine like a cat. Squeeze the inner thighs and allow your heart to travel forward and up as we inhale. Squeeze the inner thighs. Exhale, hold your spine back. Round your spine and sit back. Okay, then do three times. Press into your foot. Rolling forward, inhale, chest forward and up. Exhale, scoop your belly muscles in and back. Last one. Inhale, curl the pelvis, squeezing your thigh. Reaching forward and up with the pelvis. Exhale, tuck your toes this time. Walk your hands back a little bit, one each. And then lift your knees off the ground and begin to lengthen up into your downward dog. So once you come to your downward dog, open your legs hip width apart. Open your hands, shoulders apart. And press down through your second knuckle, little knuckle, and the 10 fingers very strong into the mat. Your heels can stay up, it's okay. But if you can place them down, that's great too. Okay, so keep your knees bent and send your sit bones as high as you can up into the sky. And stay there for a second. We're gonna take three breaths in and out through the nose. So you're staying high with your pelvis. Two, one more breath in. And one, good work. Then from here, we're gonna walk our feet forward. So take as many steps as you need and bring your hands to your shins. Inhale halfway, lengthen your heart center forward and up, drawing the belly in, exhale, begin to bow. Keep your knees micro bent, let go of your head. Shake your head, yes, no. Let your back completely release here. Keep your belly in and up, maybe micro bend on the knees and relax. Good. And we're going to roll up. So scoop your belly first, press down from your feet and begin to roll up, keeping your head heavy. And once you come up, just do a couple of shoulder rolls. So inhaling the shoulders up and back a couple of times. Good. And then from here, we're going to lengthen the arms forward and up again. Inhale, reaching up. Lengthen all the way up. Keep your front body coming to the back body so the weight is on my heels and I feel the strength of my back and my glutes charge up. Take a deep breath in here to lengthen. Exhale to side bend. So you're going to bend over to your left or to your right. Doesn't matter. Okay, inhale, come all the way up and over to the opposite side. Just side bending, pushing through the feet. Resting to the front and then inhale up, up really tall, as tall as you can get, and then exhale, fold forward all the way down, releasing the head again. Halfway look up, inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, pull the navel in and bow down. Relax your head. Good. And let's step back into downward dog when you're ready. One more downward dog. So feet hip width apart, arms, shoulders apart. Good, and then as we inhale, let's come forward into planks. So you're gonna roll your body forward and check it out, make sure your shoulders are on top of your wrist. And then again, bend your knees if you like and lift your pelvis up, back into your down dog. Exhale, lift your heels and roll forward into plank. Head looking slightly down and forward on your mat. And then bend your knees, lift your hips up again, inhale. Last one. Roll forward into plank and stay up here. Feel the plank, shoulders back, scoop the belly strong, reach your heels back more, chest forward, heels back. 
Keep your elbows micro bent, and we're gonna lower down. So beginners, you can place your knees down like this. You should lower your elbows down. Intermediate, you can keep your legs straight. Come forward and then lower down, all the way down to your mat. Good, from here, keep your hands underneath the shoulders, shoulders back. Okay, press down the, ten to the tops of your foot, the 10 toes, and squeeze the inner thighs. And press down through the hips. So I'm really pushing my hips down here to lift my belly and take your heart forward, forward, forward. Keep your chin in as you lift up. Exhale, gently lower down again. Okay, cobra. Inhale, press down through your feet. Hips, lift your lower belly. Take your chest forward. Just stay halfway down this time so you're not too high, but you can feel your back doing the work. So if you take your hands off the ground, your back is doing the work. Okay, and then from here, curl up a little more if you can. Exhale, forward and down. Now, touch your toes, press back into downward dog when you're ready. So walk your hands back, lift your seat bones up, downward dog position. Finish your breath here, one more breath in and out. Nice, and then take the right leg up to the sky as we inhale, lengthen. Keep your microbiome on the left knee, keep your right heel reaching. Exhale, right knee to your chest, hollow your belly knee and stay strong. One more. Inhale, press back and up. Exhale, right knee to your chest. Now step forward to your hands. Take your left knee down. And as we inhale, let's curl up. You can bring your hands onto your knees. If you need some support, you can use a cushion underneath your left knee. And you can also place the tops of your foot down. Okay? So from here, pull the legs isometrically towards one another. So I'm pulling my right hip back and my left heel forward to come into my stretch on my hip flexors. So you're supposed to feel this in the front of the left hip and try not to collapse like this. Like I see a lot of more flexible girls come all the way like that. See if you don't collapse, okay? So kind of pull the legs isometrically towards one another and gently stretch through the front of the hip. So I'm using my glutes to stretch the front of the hip. Okay, so from here, reach your arms up. Lengthening through the arms, keep your front body to the back body and feel the rebound of energy as you push down. There's a rebound of energy coming all the way up and reaching through the fingertips. Now take your hands behind your head. Keep your chin back, press your head onto your hands and then gently open up a little bit back. Keep your hips forward, hard back and then come back to your center. Now take the left hand down, reach the right arm all the way back and twist over to your right shoulder. If you like, you can tap the back knee and lift your back knee off the ground as you come to that full twist. Keep your right hip back, chest forward. One more deep breath in here, good. And exhale, gently release. Come back to your center plank position, inhale. Let's come back into, uh, let's do upper dog now. So if you like, you can take your knees down for beginners, bend your elbows, come forward halfway down, and then upper dog to slide your chest forward and up. As you slide, option to take your knees off the ground if there is no back pain, okay? Uh, or keep your knees down. Great, and then exhale, let's go back into your down dog, all the way back. Left leg, inhale, stretch the left leg up, exhale, Left knee to your chest, hollow your belly, stay strong. Good, and inhale, press back and up. You might be feeling your, your uh, body begin to be a little warmer now and opening up a little bit better to do it. One more, inhale, back and up. This time we're gonna step forward. Lift your left hand, step your left foot forward, take your right knee down. Push through your right foot and come up, hands to your knees, pull the left hip back, Lift your stomach up first, so I'm isometrically drawing the legs towards one another. Okay, and then from here, my right hip comes forward a little bit more. I'm using my right glute to stretch the front of the hip, and maybe arms coming up. So stay strong for the four corners of both feet, or you can push the top of your toes back down like I just did, like that, toes down. Okay, take a deep breath in to lengthen. Exhale. Draw, squeeze your glutes and draw your glutes more forward as you lengthen your head back. Good, and then come down, right hand down to your right side, left arm circles all the way back to your left shoulder. So you can look towards the left hand if it's okay for your, for your neck, or you can just look down or sideways. If you're ready, lift the back knee off the ground. 
Keep your heart forward, take a deep inhale, full stretch, heels back, chest forward, full stretch, deep exhale. And gently release it down again to your ground. Step forward this time, big step forward, halfway left, inhale, exhale, bow to release. Nice, we're gonna come into chair pose. So when you're ready, have your feet parallel underneath your hips and then bend your knees and then send your arms forward and up like you're sending, sitting on a, on a chair, okay? So if you look down, you can see your 10 toes because your knees are back and then lift up your chest forward and up. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, bring your arms back, scoop your belly and exhale it out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. One more. Exhale. The heel come all the way up and lift your heels up this time. So you're feel, finding your Tadasana too. So the heels are up this time. One balancing pose here. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out, feeling the balls of the foot, inner thighs, and gently release down. Good job. And from here, we're going to move into dancer's pose. So we're going to push the right leg down and bring the left foot in. So one focus point in front of you. If you're a beginner, you can use a wall behind you, beside you, okay? So hug the knees in towards the center, and you're feeling your quad stretch on the leg that is bent first. Take a moment to hold the inside of the foot if it's possible. If not, it's okay to have like that, but notice how my shoulder's rotating forward here, and if I hold it back, my shoulder's rotating back. So it's better to hold the foot inside. Okay, scoop the belly in, keep a micro bend on the right knee, and find your balance by lifting the right palm up. If you got your balance, maybe begin kicking the legs slowly back, very slowly, okay, and uh, kicking back, 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 until you find the full expression of your dancer's pose. Take a deep breath in here, deep breath out. We're gonna release the hand and allow the foot to just come back to warrior two. So here you want to have one line from the front foot to the back arch. So check it out if it's in the back arch of your feet. Okay, and then have your arms open, shoulders back and down. Take a deep inhale, bend your right knee, and a deep exhale. Feel the strength of your legs. Now inhale, reaching the right palm all the way back, lengthen for reverse water warrior. Exhale. Side angle, right elbow to your right knee, left arm up and over. If you are intermediate, you can take your hands to a block or inside your leg like this. Okay, but if this is enough today for you, stay with the position that is enough. Okay, so from here, keep your right hip heel back and stretch your chest more forward. Good, one more deep breath in. And inhale, coming all the way up, turn both feet parallel, interlace your hands behind your back and roll the shoulders back. So if you are a beginner, this is hard for you, you can hold your hands to your hips. Okay, otherwise we're gonna interlace the hand, we're gonna bow forward. So with the next breath in, you gently come forward and down, lifting the arms up. Micro bend your knees and keep your weight forward onto your toes. So one more deep breath in here and deep breath out. Okay, let's come all the way up, inhale, rolling all the way up. Exhale, release your hands back to the heart, turn forward and step forward. Good, let's go one more chair pose, this time knees feet together, inhale, exhale, seat back into your chair. Make sure you can see your 10 toes, arms forward and lifting up, ribs back into your body. One more deep breath in to lengthen, Deep breath out. Stay strong through your legs. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Last breath. Inhale. Exhale. And then inhale Tadasana Chu, lifting up through your heels. Squeeze the glutes. Keep your belly in. Inner thighs, legs together. Lift everything high. Good. And exhale, release. Let's take the right leg behind for quad stretch, you can hold the inside of your foot, and left hand forward, okay? So preparing for your pose. Find one focus point in front of you, draw your belly in and up, and micro bend your left knee, so my, my stabilizers on the left side is doing the work, okay? Then from here, keep the right leg onto your hand slowly. 
really slowly. Keep kicking back, back and heart goes forward. Inhale for three, hug the inner thighs and legs in. Two, one, relax your hands. Let go of your back foot and just come into warrior two. So as you bend into warrior two, I'm gonna turn around so you can see me. One line from the front foot to the back foot. Okay, arms are straight, bend your left knee deeper. Stay strong to the outer edge of your back foot. So I'm feeling my legs drawing in towards the middle line. So I feel this wrapping through the hip and the seat bones. Okay, and then reaching forward for a second, and then open the left palm out and reach all the way back. So you don't have to go very far to be able to feel this stretch, right? So don't worry about compressing too much the right side. Just go to the amount that feels good in your body. Keep your shoulders away from the ears. One more deep breath in. And exhale, Parse Bakonasana. Let's take the left hand inside the left knee. Okay, so keep your knee straight forward. And right hand reaches up and over. Stretching, keep your shoulders back. Take a deep inhale to lengthen hips down. Deep exhale. One more breath in here. Exhale. Now let's come down to the ground. Let's take your hands down to the ground and step back again to your plank position. And last vinyasa. So come forward, bend your elbows. You can bring your knees down if you're a beginner. Halfway down, chaturanga and upper dog sliding forward and up. Scoop the belly in, take your chest forward, feeling the stretch here, pressing the tops of your foot. Nice work. And then child's pose. So reaching back into a child's pose and relaxing from head to toe. Taking a moment here to take four or five breaths. And just emptying yourself completely, letting go. You feel your back stretching. And then inhale here. And we're going to come up again to a seated position. Okay, so cross the opposite leg in front that you were crossing in the beginning of the class. And we're gonna just twist. So we're gonna take your hands up first to lengthen, inhale. And then twist into the left shoulder. Reach to look over to your left shoulder. The hands are open, but my right hand comes to my right knee and I'm twisting to the left. Now I know usually we take the right hand outside the left foot, but today I want you to stay open as you twist, just looking over to the left shoulder. Now stay there and then just look forward towards the right shoulder. So just rotate your head. Take a deep breath in here and twist again to the left shoulder. See if you can go a little deeper the second time you turn your head. Nice. And then inhale, let's come up. Arms up to the sky and twist over to the opposite side. Staying open, staying tall. You can always use a, a cushion underneath your seat if you need. Inhale to twist and turn your head to the left shoulder. So the head looks forward first, and keep twisting, and then turn over to your right. Nice work. And then you go back to your center, and we're finished for today. Thank you so much, everybody. Namaste, thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed class. And let us know if this was more of a Hatha class, uh, next week we're gonna do Pilates and let us know if you prefer Hatha or Flow. I can teach both and I'm always happy to uh, come up with new stuff for you guys. So thank you so much and I hope to see you again. Namaste.